In this feature tour, I'm going to show you dynamic connections. This is a Dreamweaver extension made by WebAssist that changes the way you create MySQL database connections in Dreamweaver. With dynamic connections, you can create a single database connection file that will be used for all your different domains for that website. This is a great tool if you're currently juggling two different database connection files for your local test, your local server and your testing server. Now all you need to do is configure your settings in dynamic connections and it'll instantly change which database connection is used based on the domain that's specified in the URL. So let me show you how easy this tool is to use. Once it is installed, you'll be able to use dynamic connections just like you would when you're creating a regular database connection in Dreamweaver. From with the databases panel open, click Add, and you now have a new option called Dynamic MySQL Connection. When you choose this option, the Dynamic Connections interface will open, allowing you to specify the primary database connection. Once you have Dynamic Connections installed, you'll never need to use the default database connection tool that's found in Dreamweaver again. If you only need one database connection, you can just specify the primary connection, and you don't need to do anything on the Additional Connections tab. So I'm going to first set up the connection for my local host, which I'm using as my testing server. Now one new fe one feature in Dynamic Connections, which is not a feature found in, very, in many other database connection tools and could be very valuable to somebody who's making websites in various countries, is you can set, set the character set. Dynamic Connections allows you to specify whatever char set that you need for your website. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue specifying the details for my database. And then just like a regular database connection that you would specify in Dreamer, you have the opportunity to select the database or you can manually type the database. And just like in Dreamweaver's default database connection interface, you can click test to test your database connection to make sure it works. So I can click OK at this point and a database connection will be created just like it would be if I was using Dreamweaver's built-in functionality. However, I want to add an additional connection so that when I upload this to my live server, instead of having to change the database file, it'll automatically know that I'm on the live server and it'll use the different connection details. So now I'm going to go to the additional connections tab. And you can specify a connection to as many databases as you like. What will happen is your dynamic database connection file that's created by dynamic connections will check the, the domain and if there's a domain for and if there's a database connection specified for the domain that you're currently browsing to that page on it will use the database connection details you've specified. If there isn't a connection specified for that domain it'll just use the primary connection de details for the database. So I'm going to click add to add my next database connection and in the details below, just like I did on the primary connections tab, I get to add the information for my database. And for the last field, you specify the domains that you'd wish to use for this database connection. And you can specify as many as you'd like, separated by a comma. So for this example, I'm going to use this connection as the database connection for PowerStoreDemo.com and PowerCMSDemo.com. So now that that has been added, I can go ahead and add another database connection if I needed to. And so I, sh I should also note that all of this can be specified dynamically by clicking on this light these lightning bolts. This would allow you to bind this to a text field or any record set that you have on your page. And when you're finished, simply click OK. And just like when creating a database connection in Dreamweaver, now just like creating a database connection with Dreamweaver's built-in functionality, you have a connections folder which contains your database connection PHP file, and you will no longer have to touch that ever again. That file is going to be, you can upload that file to your live server now, and it'll just use the right connection details when you're ready. So for somebody who does, does a lot of dynamic web development and is constantly juggling a local testing server and a remote testing server, or create similar sites for a variety of different domains, Dynamic Connections is the tool for you. I hope you've enjoyed this feature tour. For more information on Dynamic Connections and any other Dreamweaver extensions, check us out at WebAssist.com. Thank you very much.